Fairfield University and other groups are being sued now by 17 former street children from Haiti. They say the organizations failed to protect them from a man who sexually abused them at a school he founded in that country. News 8's Kent Pierce says the lawsuit seeks $20 million for each victim. Years ago, a Fairfield University grad named Douglas Perlitz went to work in Haiti, ostensibly to try to feed and clothe street kids. But in a charity that critics say was overseen and encouraged by the university, he ended up sexually abusing those kids. And now Perlitz and the university and several others are named in a lawsuit seeking hundreds of millions of dollars. The children who were sexually molested were 9 to 21 years old when they were sexually molested. Some of them were sexually molested for years. That's the basis of a 17-count federal civil lawsuit filed by lawyer Mitch Garabedian yesterday. Garabedian was the force behind the sex abuse lawsuits that shook up the Catholic Church in Boston. Now he's turning his sights on what Douglas Perlitz did in Haiti. A year ago, a judge sentenced Perlitz to 19 years in prison for having sex with children he was supposed to be helping as part of Project Pierre Toussaint in Haiti. Douglas Perlitz would tell children, you're, you're a street child, and they were street children. You don't have any food, you don't have any shelter, and you don't have any clothing. If you don't let me sexually molest you, I'm not going to give you food, clothing, or shelter. Perlitz admitted to a lot of that in court, but the lawsuit goes further and names Fairfield University and the Jesuits who run it and says they had the responsibility to stop the abuse. The university campus chaplain was on the board overseeing Perlitz's charity, but a lawyer for the school says that was as a private citizen, not as an official of Fairfield University. It, the, the university doesn't belong in these lawsuits. Uh, the only connection the university has to these lawsuits is that Father Carrier, who was the chaplain, uh, at the university, served on the board of the Haiti Fund, which oversaw the PPT down in Haiti. There's no connection between the university and the PPT whatsoever. The lawsuit is asking for $420 million to repair the damage done to all those young lives. Fairfield alum Paul Kendrick has already been to Haiti to try to help the abuse victims. And, and a lot of our time was spent uh, trying to uh, uh, tell them that this was not their fault. Uh, as, as one of the children said to me, I hope God forgives me for what I've done. Now what those gentlemen hope this lawsuit is going to do is force everybody from the university on down to say in open court what happened, who knew what, and when they knew it. On the scene in Fairfield, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.